Lawrence family. For this tutorial, it is going to be a kind of watercolor abstract inspired lady. This is inspired by this amazing artist named Moises Ramirez. Actually, my best friend Des, you guys may know her as Desone and I, did a collab quite a while ago inspired by his work and I wanted to revisit the idea. Make sure to check him out, I'll have his Instagram linked down below and make sure to follow Des if you don't already. All product details will be listed down below and let's get to it. First off, I did start with foundation already in my face. You don't have to do this, but I still had some paint left on from the day before, so I had to cover that. I'm using white paint from Mayron Makeup, and I'm just going to start kind of finding the highlights of my face. I'm using this large flat brush from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, but any kind of concealer style brush would work out fine. You want one that will show the brush strokes still, because if you look at his artwork, there's tons of brush strokes that still show through. I'm taking coral as well, and I'm kind of adding in this color as a mid-tone. Be abstract with this. You're pretty much doing a contour and highlight like normal, but we're just doing it in brush strokes. I'm using Beach Berry from Mayron again, just to start adding in a little bit of the contour. I did decide as I'm doing this that I did want one side to be darker than the other, just because I really enjoy when work is asymmetrical. I don't like it all to look the same. so. I wanted one side to just be a little different. You can see I'm just kind of playing up the contours of my face and kind of some of the darker shapes, you know, anywhere that you would have some shadow underneath your eyebrows, around your collarbones, around your shoulders, just to darken those. You can obviously do this in any color you want to, but I kind of wanted to stick with some warmer tones for the base. For this style of artwork, you want there to be a ton of texture and dimension. I didn't want to stop at just a few brush strokes of the different colors. I want to keep going back in and lightening and darkening and adding more. I'm pretty much helping to bring in any highlights of my face with this white, but just adding more little spots to really make it look more like a painting. I really want to highlight my collarbones as well, and then now I am going in with black. And again, focusing that black more on one side than the other. I just want to darken up any shadows that I have while still keeping it with a very painterly look. I wanted to do a look like this just because I felt that I had a little bit of a block and so this really took me back to my roots. I really got to sit there and play with paint. I'm a painter and I used to paint on canvas so I love doing this kind of style. Just have fun with it. Decide where you want to add highlights and shadows and even create different shapes on your face. If you want different cheekbones, you want a different jawline, just have fun with it. His work is very dimensional with the amount of kind of brush strokes he has going on, but it's also very dimensional in the colors. He uses a lot of different colors and I really enjoy that, so I wanted to add in a few little bits of teal just to kind of complement along with some of the red and orange tones I had. There wasn't too much of a method where I did want it. I didn't want too much of it because I didn't want to overpower the warm tones. I just wanted it as an accent color. For the lips, in the original photo that I did, I uh, did blue and kind of light purple on the lips, so I wanted to stick with that too, so I'm using Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker to fill in my lips. Oh, hold up, need my coffee real quick. I'm up to so many cups of coffee a day, it's insane. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I'm addicted, man. Anyways, continue to fill in your lips with that Jawbreaker color, and then I'm using Jeffree Star's Blue Velvet, which is just a little bit of a darker blue, to fill in the outsides of the lips. You can see I'm not blending this super well into the light blue because I want to stay cohesive with the rest of my skin. Using Jeffree Star's Abused Liquid Lipstick, which is a very, very dark kind of blueberry color, I'm just going to completely darken the outsides a little more and then using a little bit of black body paint just to really accentuate the lines. Oh, Shadow really wanted love, so I wanted to grab him and give him some love real quick. Isn't he beautiful? God, he's such a majestic bastard. Still using that black body paint, I wanted to draw some really bold lines, and I wanted to fill in the eyebrows. I'm just making them look kind of hairy, but keeping in my natural shape. This is along the lines of what Des did for her look. She had very wispy brows, and they were so pretty. And since I did one side lighter, I wanted that eyebrow to be a little lighter too, so I'm adding a little bit of teal in that. I then added a little bit of pops of white to the lips, again, not making it super blended. And then for the eyes, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so 
I thought I would do a halo look, but painter style, so basically keeping the lighter shades to the center of the eye and then darkening out the outsides of the eye, the inner and outer corner, with some blue paints and a little bit of black. You know, we want, we want the whole look to go cohesive together, and I had to add a little fun beauty look in there. On the side that I did darker, I did decide to draw on some little eyelashes, and I, again, sticking with kind of a abstract theme. They're not looking like regular eyelashes. I took those lines still, and I brought them down from a few kind of key points of my face, from my contour on the darker side, around my lips on the darker side, and my collarbones. Blones? Collar bones, Jesus. Had to add in my signature little beauty mark I got going on. And then I did decide to make the lip shape a little bit smaller. Added a few black lines on the lips and then a just line of liner on top of my eye. I didn't use body paint for this because if your eyes get watery, that shit will run. Use some regular eyeliner. I used Tarte's Tartist Clay Liner, which you guys know is my favorite right now. Popped on some House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. I will have an eyelash video up soon. And then I am just splattering on some yellow paint onto my face just to make it really look painterly. Not really doing this in too much of a method, keeping one side a little more intense than the other. In order to do this, you should use a generally stiff brush. On my original photo, I drew a rose onto my chest, and uh, I think that was just because I love roses so much. They're my favorite thing to draw. And since I was feeling a little bit of a block, I wanted to go back to my roots. And my roots are roses. I've been drawing flowers my entire life, and they're my absolute favorite to draw realistically. So I'm just outlining a rose. I didn't use a reference picture for this, but I would suggest using one if you never have. Roses are very, very dimensional, and there's so much going on to them. The petals aren't perfect. They have all of these little divots and indentions. So use a reference picture, but you want to just really make the rose be slowly opening from that center point. Some of the petals will be lifted over onto each other, some of them will be kind of larger, some of them will be smaller, but once you get the hang of drying roses, they're super easy. I like my roses to look kind of wilted. I like there to be a lot going on with them, so to most of the edges, I'm drawing a few little lines just to show that they have some little divots to them. They're not perfect little circle petals like you normally see and I'm just darkening most of the outlines. I also decided to add in a bunch of those lines underneath my jaw just to bring in the cohesion with the roses. And that's the entire look. I suggest you guys all try this look. It's so fun to just sit in front of that mirror and create. You're using you as the canvas, which is the absolute best, and just enhancing and playing up your features, and it's a lot of fun, so I suggest you guys try it. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out the other two artists I talked about in this video, and I will see you guys later.